Some people say I need to read the manual, but guess what? What I'm going to tell you in this video is not in the manual, which is how to use Canon CR3 files in Darktable 3.6. Let's go. Right, so now we're going to answer the most asked question on my channel. How can I use CR3 files with Darktable? You can't natively, but I'm going to show you how you can. First, go to Google and fill in Adobe DNG Converter. You will have some links over here and you'll need the first one, the digital negative DNG, Adobe DNG Converter. If you open that one up, it takes you to this website, which is this one. And you can confirm it by helpx.adobe.com forward slash camera dash raw forward slash digital dash negative dot html. And then if you scroll down, you can find the one that you'll need to download which is the top one for Mac OS and the bottom one for Windows. Now, once you've done that, make sure you just install it and then you can open up the program. Now, this is in Dutch because for some reason I can't get it in English, but it's very easy. Step one is select your folder and then select the folder where your file is. Make sure you click select. Then the second one is where you can save it. So you can save it on the same location or a new location. This will be the same regardless of your language. Then you can give it a name in step three, and then you can change some preferences in step four. I'm not going to do that. So I selected the folder. I selected the folder where I want to store it. And all you got to do is hit convert. And then once you've selected this and go to the folder where you've saved it, you can see that the CR3 file, which is this one, is the original file, CR3, has now been changed to a DNG file, which is still a raw file. And Darktable will allow you to open this. So open with a Darktable. And here we have it. Now, this image is courtesy of DP Review. I've taken it from their site. I'll be sure to put a link in the description down below. And I've also edited it a little bit, which is here. So let me take a snapshot because I just wanted to do a quick edit. So here's the original. Here's the edited version. And all I did actually was use the color balance RGB module. And in this case, there are a couple of things I want to change. First, I want to change the exposure because it's very dark. So I'm just going to drag this out. And then I want to add some saturation by using the global vibrance one. So to make sure that the colors pop a little bit, it lacks contrast. So we need to add some contrast. There's not really any magic or special formula for that. Just go with what the eye thinks looks good in your case. Now I want to change the saturation of the colors as well. You see what happens. So here it's very dull and here it's very vibrant. So I usually go for around 10% and I want to change the shadows as well. And the reason why is because her hairs are in the shadows and I like the brown hair to really come forward. The mid tones and the highlights are where the face is. So I want to give her some nice color. There you go. She gets a little bit more color in her face. It looks very natural. And if we go to the four ways, there are three things that I've done because you can lift the shadows or you can crush them. So in this case, I lifted them just a little bit. It's a very strong slider uh, just to make sure that it's not too dark. And the highlights, I just brought them down a little bit. And you can see it happening here in the histogram as well. So see that there is how it's moving. So I'm bringing them down a little bit. And then the overall power, you can brighten it up. You can darken it. And in this case, I just want to brighten it up a little bit. And there you go. I did a quick edit. The most important part has been covered, which is using CR3 files in Darktable. I hope you all like it. And that's it. I hope you all like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Now you can use the awesome program of Darktable together with your CR3 files. If you've got any questions, let them know down below. My name is Rico Richardson. Thank you for watching. Doei!